Hey guys, how's it going? My name is still Blackblade and welcome back to vlog number 5 of the build of Fire and Ice. Now, if you recall, a long long time ago, I made a build which involved the uh, Glacial Cascade and the and the Flame Surge together with, of course, the, CO, uh, the COC. Back then, it didn't work as well as it is today because of the fact that, of course, I got better gear and I thought that um, I'd make an update out of it. And it's still uh, pretty fun to play and it's actually working uh, great uh, simply because of the fact that the uh, skill tree is now uh, well improved and back then you know the skill tree was actually pretty ancient and it's not really suited or it was not actually tailored for uh, a good COC build but then again today it's already good and let's get into the build proper uh, so uh, uh, the uh, the uh, blah, 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 blah. the classes we're going to be choosing is of course the shadow. The ascendancy class that we're going to be choosing is of course uh, the assassin class. Uh, simply because uh, we need to take the uh, ambush and then the assassinate for the uh, increased critical strike chances. Uh, this build will revol revolve primarily on uh, getting as much crit chance as we can, so that we can proc the flame surge and the uh, glacial glacial cascade, you know, as often as possible. And then finally, you know. We're going to be taking the unstable infusion uh, if you guys uh, can uh, manage to uh, get to the end game labyrinth then I get uh, then I highly suggest that you get of course the uh, deadly infusion for uh, uh, to further increase the uh, overall DPS of your build now uh, let's go to the skill tree proper of course we're going to be taking some uh, elemental damage nodes over here uh, simply because the build will rely on the elemental damage instead of uh, any physical damage uh, from the cyclone the, the cyclone will only be uh, the catalyst uh, for the uh, proccing of again the glacial cascade and the uh, flame surge uh, passing through uh, trickery and then we went to the uh, down over here to take the uh, some life nodes and with blood siphon and then we went to the right side to take the assassination uh, the cold hearted ca calculation and then we went up uh, to take some uh, dam uh, dagger damage and critical strike chance nodes ending with the death stalker and then we went to the right side to take to take uh, some uh, life nodes and then finally some spell critical strike chance and multiplier nodes ending with doomcast and then we went down to uh, get the coordination uh, the will of the blades the uh, fangs of the Vi viper and then we went up to get the, nil the nullification uh, now I, I only got the nullification for the again a 5% increased uh, maximum life and of course the plus 8 all elemental resistances uh, because when you're going with crit build uh, people tend to have uh, a little bit of trouble when it comes to their resistances so yeah uh, that's going to be awesome and then we went to the right side to take the uh, uh, some life nodes over there and then we went down to take the survival list again for the elemental resistances and the additional uh, plus, plus one to additional uh, max uh, maximum cold resistance and then we went down to uh, take some critical strike chance nodes ending with a uh, heart seeker and then we went to the uh, left side to take an, uh, a jewel socket uh, what you're looking for a, or uh, global critical strike chances uh, global critical strike multipliers or increased repel, uh, weapon critical strike chance while dual wielding will also be good uh, of course this also so a good spot for you guys to min max your uh, resistances and then we went over here to take the fervor for some additional uh, frenzy charges uh, and of course you know uh, we get that uh, four percent uh, evasion rating per uh, frenzy charge of course this is going to be uh, based of course on the uh, iron reflexes uh, so that we get more armor in the process and then we went down over here to take uh, some uh, some life nodes and then we went to the left side to take the aspect of the panther uh, the finesse and then finally ending with evasion and life nodes from the uh, ranger skill tree and of course the heart of the oak and then we went over to the uh, down over here to take again some life, no life nodes uh, ending with thick skin and then we've gotten the uh, twin terrors over here to further increase our uh, glo uh, global critical strike chances uh, when we are you know uh, no uh, our critical strike chances uh, I should say when we are dual wielding and then we went down over here to take some evasion nodes and then of course on our jewel socket uh, now please pay att no attention to the uh, trap uh, node over there I'm actually just trying to bump up uh, my life and this this had a good uh, roll of life at six uh, at six percent and then we went over to the uh, again left side to take the iron reflexes and then the uh, golem's blood over here and then another jewel sock socket again uh, i took this one uh, simply because i wanted to get uh, my re my lightning resistance as cap uh, at 15 percent over there and then we have a 14 percent increased spell damage where we are dual wielding uh the mind damage of course is not <laughs> it's not going to be beneficial but that's okay 
and then we went up uh, over here to take the dervish uh, because there's no other side that we could actually take uh, you know going up uh, when it comes to uh, uh, you know getting the uh, bravery over here so yeah and then uh, art of the gladiator bravery uh, master of arena and then finally get getting all of the armor evasion and life nodes from the duelist skill tree over here all right then, so let's get into our uh, gear set uh, we are going to be using the Maligaras virtuosity for the gloves uh, simply because again this is going to be a crit crit gear, crit uh, based bi uh, build so yeah uh, the Maligaras virtuosity is going to be really important now, of course, we're going to be using the Divinarius over here and then a really uh, good uh, high crit chance dagger uh, as you can see at 9.59% and then, you know, I decided to add a global critical strike multiplier over there or if you can't get anything like this, you know, just get uh, something similar to the Div Divinarius, you know, uh, global critical strike chances, global critical strike multiplier and of course, spell damage. Anything of those three will be good for, you know, both of your uh, daggers if you can't have uh, anything similar to Divinarius or this one. Uh, the armor will be, of course, the Carcass Jack uh, because both of the uh, Flame Surge and the G Glacial Cascade are AOE-based and the 20% uh, increased AOE from the Carcass Jack will actually help, you know, hit more monsters when it comes to, uh, yeah, uh, when they proc. And then uh, for rings, any ring will do, you know, life and resist, uh, life and resist, and then our uh, amulet will be an onyx amulet just to uh, reach all of the uh, requirements when it comes to uh, the attributes. Uh, finally, our belt will be uh, will be this one, you know, just life and resist. Uh, boots will be will also be life and resist. And then finally, the helm will be rat's nest for the uh, global critical strike chance. And then of course, the fifteen percent increased attack speed. Now, what's going to be connected to our flame surge and glacial cascade? Of course, will be COC. Uh, the catalyst I chose uh, for this one will be the cyclone. Of course, both of them will be attached to uh, increased critical strikes and then increased critical damage. Now, if you're having a hard time, you know, surviving in the game. And then you find yourself dying a lot then you can um, replace the uh, increased critical damage with life leech instead that could also be good but then uh, of course um, you're going to be losing uh, a bit more uh, a bit more damage but you will be gaining survivability now for the for our next set of skill gems uh, we're going to be using enduring cry uh, enhance uh, support gem over there attached to ice golem and of course uh, minion life support uh, so that the golem doesn't die that easily and then finally we uh and then uh, of course for a defensive um, um set of skill gems we're going to be using uh, molten shell attached to increased duration uh cwdt and then immortal call and then we have uh, cwdt attached to blood rage uh i was supposed to add a uh, portal over here but then uh you know that's impossible because it will cast the the uh, portal constantly it, it gets really annoying so yeah that's a free slot for you guys or you can just remove the uh, link over there you know just uh, i just don't want to uh, to you know spend uh, additional links uh, uh, on this one Movements uh, skill gem we're going to be using uh, phase run attached to faster, uh, faster casting and then of course the increased duration. Uh, finally for our curse we're going to be using elemental weakness uh, simply because we have two uh, two spells over here to uh, different elements so yeah uh, the uh, elemental weakness will help a lot. Attached of course to blasphemy, herald of ice uh, for, for some uh, increase of damage you know just a little bit and then of course uh, the arctic armor over there. Alright then so our level is at level 88. Uh, not exactly sure where to go uh, uh, you know uh, forward after this one I haven't actually planned that uh, far ahead you know just yet I'm probably going to get another uh, power charge over here or probably get you know another jewel socket just to further bump up my life a little bit all right then so uh, uh when it comes to our catalyst uh, the cyclone is actually doing pretty a, a pretty hefty critical uh, critical strike chance at uh, 85.6 on the uh, on the on our main hand and a 95% uh, on our off hand, off hand which is actually pretty amazing uh the uh critical strike multiplier is of course 447 and the other one is of course also 447 uh, our our uh, glacier cascade is doing a 65.83% with a uh, critical strike multiplier of 400 and 92 percent and the uh, flame surge is doing 75.37 percent with a global critical strike multiplier of 492 uh, defensively, our armor is at 5.8k with an estimated physical damage reduction of 36%. Uh, All of our resistances are capped and we have some several stun, ignite, chill, cha uh, chill, uh, freeze, and shock avoidance of 28%, uh, 8, 8%, 8, 8% respectively. Alright, and then, so the map that we're going to be doing is the Ch Chateau map. It's, uh, it's your level, uh, it's, it's your typical leveling guide, uh, of leveling guide, a uh, leveling map with a 23 uh, more magic monsters. Fine. Alright, and then, so let's get into doing the map. Okay, here we go. 
All right, and then here we go again, guys. I would like to apologize to you guys. I know I haven't really uh, made any uh, videos of late. Of late. Uh, that is, of course, simply because of work. You know, I had a uh, shit ton of whoa, 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 whoa. I had a, uh, you know, shit ton of work and, uh, yeah, I didn't really have any time to uh, make any videos. So, yeah, I apologize for that one. But, yeah, yeah I was able to get uh, caught up with my work. And uh, right now, I'm free and, you know, I'm getting back into uh, making some more, uh, making some more Path of Exile uh, builds. Uh, right and then, so, yeah, uh, the build is actually pretty fun. But I'm not going to be recommending this for you know high end, uh, high end maps basically because uh, because a a COC build is not uh, you know uh, that really good when it comes to uh, high end maps. Although uh, the highest map that I was able to do with this one is uh, is a whoa is a uh, what do you call this? It's a level twelve map. Uh, yeah, but I did uh, die once every time I did a level 12 map. Uh, yeah, simply because uh, the build lacks some sort of uh, survivability when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, life leech and all of that. Uh, I did try to... Whoa, 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 what the fuck? It's not hitting anything. Uh, I did try to use the Doriani, uh, was it? Uh, for the 1% life leech when it comes to uh, the cold damage but it wasn't working as well so yeah I just decided to use uh, my regular or my conventional belt uh, in order to just further bump up my life alright and then here we go with some more gameplay uh, when it comes to the next build I'm not exactly sure yet but I'm planning to why am I not hitting anything uh, I, I'm really planning to uh, do another lacerate build but this time I wanted to uh, I wanted to focus more on uh, the axe component of the build so yeah that's going to be awesome you know I have a really uh, good uh, general idea on what uh, what what uh, what uh, class to use when it comes to that build and it's going to be awesome I already did. I already did. You know, a couple of theory crafting uh, when it comes to that build. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to to basically just uh, do the build after this one, and that's going to be for tomorrow. So expect another video tomorrow. Why am I desyncing or uh, I'm not? Am I not just hitting them? Blah, blah, blah. I apologize, guys, if I'm not uh, talking that. Well, I don't know. If you don't talk English for uh, quite some time, you kind of, you know, uh, 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 stutter a lot. Uh, and I do stutter a lot. You know, whether I do uh, speak in Tagalog or not, I still do stutter a lot. Alright, then some more gameplay over here. What is that? What level up? Oh, face on ready. That's great. Good for me. Uh, okay, so let's go down over here. The boss, uh, the map is actually always the same, and the boss uh, always is actually on the uh, lower left hand side corner. So let's uh, go over there so that we could, you know, uh, end the video. Oh, all right. So we have a strong box over here, which I will, uh, which I will do an orb of alchemy from. Uh, freezes when you're activated. All right, good for me. Alright, so I'm going to uh, stay away a little bit uh, because uh, I cannot actually tank uh, damage that much. Again, uh, we are we, we don't have any uh, life leech, which is actually pretty bad. Oops, oops, oops. Alright, got a bunch of trash items over there. Anyway, I'm just going to go back to uh, all of those items later. Uh, let's get into killing some more mobs over here before we actually get into killing the boss. Anyways, it's, it's just a couple of uh, more monsters. Just gonna finish it uh, right up here. Alright, more monsters over here. Great! Come on, die. So as you can see, it's actually uh, working pretty well. <laughs> and I'm actually quite surprised about it. Although I do wish I had a, uh, a good or a better dagger. But I, I guess uh, it's as good as I could get. You know, uh, crit hit chance, crit hit uh, multiplier. And it's actually pretty good at sitting at 95%. Alright then, so let's get into killing the boss, I guess. And the boss is going to be uh, downish over here. I hope I don't die! I usually die because... Uh, it's usually not because of the build, it's just because of stupidity. Because this guy is stupid! Anyway, let's go! Why? What? I'm missing on the barrel? That's definitely a desync. I refuse to believe that uh, you'd actually miss on getting on, you know, on some barrels. 
Alright, so let's get me killing some more uh, mobs over here. Uh, get the barrels, some more barrels, and then some more uh, mobs over here. Just to show you guys how awesome the build is! Yeah! Okay, let's go up, 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 up. Basically, just killing everything in sight. Whoa! Oh my god, that that was a bad bro. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of it kind of does that something. What the hell is going on? All right, this is going to be dangerous a little bit because those guys are slow movers and I can't really get in. All right, come on, come on. All right, they're all dead. All right, that's good. Woo! That was a doozy. All right, so let's just get some uh, items over here and all right. So let's get into uh, killing the boss. Which is downstairs. Ooh, you're a tough son of a bitch. Alright, it's dead. Alrighty then. Haven't I encountered anything uh, really uh, or a problem with the build except for uh, the mana? I I'm, I'm la lacking some sort of mana management. Uh, that's why I have a uh, mana flask over there. Alrighty then. So here's the boss. I hope I don't die because of stupidity. Alright, here we go. Oh god, what is happening? Am I not hitting him? Alright, so the boss is dead. Woo! I almost died over there. <laughs> Alright, so we didn't get any uh, uniques uh, this time around. Alright, so that's about it for this episode, guys. Again, let me know what you guys think about the build in the comment section down below. And thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'm going to see you guys on the next one of my video. Have a good one. Is this the boss? Alright, so this is the boss. Alright, I have the boss alone. And I'm gonna attempt to just push him back uh, with my granite flasks. As you can see, he's being just pushed back over there. He's now in the corner. And he's now.